Jesus said, don't worry. Don't be afraid. There's nothing that you can do that, uh, that God does not know about. Let's read about it in Luke chapter 12, verses 6 and 7. Jesus said, aren't five sparrows sold for two Assyria coins? Now it says here in the notes, an Assyria coin was a small copper coin worth about an hour's wages for an agricultural laborer. Not one of them is forgotten by God. But the very hairs of your head are all counted. Therefore, don't be afraid. You are, more val- you are of more value than many sparrows. One of the most comforting things that Jesus has ever said. Let's read it again. Aren't five sparrows sold for two Assyria coins? Just two coins. Five sparrows. Not one of them is forgotten by God. Hmm. He's trying to say that even the sparrows mean something to God. So much so that he doesn't even forget about that sparrow. Verse 7, but the very hairs of your head are all counted. Nobody, nobody knows how many hairs you have on your head. And if you even try to count them, I'm pretty sure you will miscount because by the time you get done counting them, I'm sure it must have been another few hundred that already fell out. Therefore, don't be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Now, before we get too far into meditating upon this, we have to realize the context of what uh, what is said, okay? Now, was Jesus talking to the world here? In other words, did, does God, did God, is Jesus applying this to the whole entire world, everybody? You know, was he talking to even the Aztecs? Was he talking to the Native Americans? Was he talking to the you know, the Eskimos at the, at the time. Who was he talking to? Now, if you go back to verse 1, it says here that he was speaking to his disciples. He wasn't talking to the multitudes. He didn't say this to the world. In fact, you know, even in John chapter 17, the Lord's prayer, <laughs> when the Lord actually prayed a long prayer, and it's recorded in John chapter 17, Jesus said very explicitly, I'm not praying for the world. I'm only praying for those that you gave me, Father. I'm only praying for my disciples and my sheep, not for the other ones. So before you get too far with this whole concept, you need to realize that in context, Jesus is speaking only to his disciples here. He's not telling that, he's not saying that everybody everywhere is so that God's you know counts the hair of their head you know uh, knows them so well that they he counts the hair of their head you know he's not he's not saying that at all. In fact, the scriptures, if you look at the scriptures, uh, many times um, you know God it, it, he he very well um, doesn't really have much to do at all with the world. Only his people. Take Sodom and Gomorrah, for example. Sodom and Gomorrah were full of immoral, um, vicious people. And um, it says that uh, the prayers of, uh, of, of, of God's real few children, God's real children, God's real people, the prayers reached the heaven and, and God said, let me go down to see if Sodom and Gomorrah are really as bad as the prayers that I'm hearing. So God didn't even really know, apparently, what was really going on in Sodom and Gomorrah until he came down, it says, and he checked it out and said, let's see if it's really true what, I'm, what, what, we're, what we're getting in heaven, right? 
you know, all of the words and all of the prayers are, are, are being uh, registered up here in heaven. And let's go down and see if it's really true what's going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. Why would he say that if, if, uh, if he got, if he counted all of the hairs of all of their heads and he knew everything in that much detail? He would already know what's going on. But God said that he was, uh, in Sodom and Gomorrah, he was checking out, you know, uh, whether or not the prayers are actually true. And, you know, there's other parts in Scripture as well that, uh, that talk about these kind of things. Um, so Jesus here is talking about God's love for the sheep. Okay? So don't forget the context of this. All right, so that'll be it for this, uh, this session. It's a wonderful, comforting session, you know. If you are not sure that you are saved and, and, and one of God's sheep, I encourage you to, to repent of your sins, get into the Scriptures, dig into the Scriptures, you know I mean? Obey God. Repent of your sin and believe and you shall be saved. May you, may you um, be blessed as you go. May God enlighten the eyes of your understanding and, uh, and enlighten the eyes of your heart to, to, uh, to understand the scriptures, to see it in, in, in its fullness, in the depth that it meant to be understood. And um, God bless you with great spiritual insight. In the name of Yeshua. Amen.